Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 14 of my playthrough as Scotland in Europa Universalis 4. So we have completed as much expansion as we can in Ireland. We've got an alliance with England, and we're just looking for a chance to go and grab some land in France. Unfortunately, England and France are no longer rivals. But France is embargoing England. And vice versa. I've got claims on Orkney, etc, but I can't attack Denmark because they're allied with England. And I imagine England would come in on their side. Yes, they would. So, uh, let's move on. Um, so I'm just looking now for a chance uh, to piggyback on um, England attacking France or Burgundy attacking France, which is highly unlikely. Who are you allied with? Uh, Hess, Cologne and Friesland. So Hess and Cologne. Friesland. Nah. I don't see you ganging up to try and reclaim any territory. Uh, Castile have... Uh, yep, they're rivaled with France, but I don't think they're going to attack. And as a result of all that, we don't really have much option. Uh, it would have to be no CB. I'm not going to attack France. I could attack Burgundy. No, I couldn't because they've got England as. Oh no, England are their enemies. What do I want to do here? 15 loyalty, 10 influence for the burgers, that would be useful. Do that. Uh, so, no CB charge into Burgundy. Uh, Who is it there? Uh, Hess and Cologne. Would England help? And that's by help, I mean not just sail around. They would come in. Now that's an option. So England. You have no claim other than on me. You've given up all your claims to France. How very odd. Okay, so I was hoping that it might have had some claims in there, but... Just nothing's going right for me in this campaign all of a sudden. Uh, let's keep time ticking on. So we need England to get claims around here. So that they'll come in uh, on the promise of some land. Still ahead of time there. Still got a bit of space. I'm not going to take military tech just now. Um, I've been putting development points in West March because it's got the fort. I suppose it's still worth doing that. Uh, even if it's unlikely England will attack us. So let's spend some more points there. Making plenty of money. Even when our maintenance goes up, we should still be positive. So the plan is to increase our fleet so that I can get a decent sized stack. So 15, for example, across onto the continent. I'd rather eight ships are up here protecting trade. What's going on here? Utrecht. You ride with Brandenburg and Munster. And Hess. Because you're you part of the Empire, you will be. Yes. Okay. So that may be an option for us. 
Let's make our way into mainland Europe through France, uh, Belgium, Holland sort of area. And then expand out from there. Okay. Hmm. I need England to get off its butt and start doing something though. doesn't seem likely. Uh, Sweden, level to desire has gone up to 28%. That's interesting. That could give us an opportunity. Uh, but then England are the problem because they're still allied with England, uh, with Denmark, yes. Okay. Ah, our air is fertile. What is our air actually like? Uh, one, two, five, that's right. A strong claim though. Hmm. Actually, that would be a good use of mill power. Let's strengthen the government. Improve our legitimacy a bit, and we'll do it again, actually. England have entered a golden era. What are you going to do with all this morale of armies and navies, I wonder? That's a bit better. Ah, oh, Sweden. I don't want to cast a spell against Sweden. Munster. Munster Dürer allied with Utrecht. Who else was it? Brandenburg. Who are big. Friesland, you've got Denmark and Burgundy, so we're not attacking you. Uh, lost our general. Um, okay, just need to keep looking. We've still got a long time before the uh, next mill take. So let's recruit as another general. Ah, it's the first rubbish general we've had. Never mind. Um, it does have a point of siege, I suppose. Let's get rid of him anyway. What I could do is give my air military command. Okay, that's what you call a general. There's still no sign of England taking any offensive action against anybody during their golden era. France, you're not at war. Miles Burgundy. The order desire continues to increase for Sweden. Who else are you friendly with? You've got lots of truces up here, and you're, uh, that would be Denmark's war. Hmm. So I don't 
Suppose you'll be asking Poland or Muscovy to help you in this war. Austria. No, you're not going to do that either. Brandenburg's a possibility. I need to... If they ask us to support their independence, we need to consider that very carefully. Uh, so long as England's allied with Denmark, we've got problems with the royal marriage as well. Nothing's changed there. How about people controller? We've got 62 influence. Let's make her play, why not? Edge of Reformation. Okay. Probably <laughs> not the best of timings. And as well, we need 25, so hopefully we can get there. France, your seven cardinals. Okay. The embargo's gone. Oh, just get military reform, Francis the Blasphemy Act. Uh, okay, fine. Um, I'm looking for estates here. The clergy. 1530, uh, 20 years before we. No. 1517. So it's not too far away. That will give us another 10 papal influence. So we might be able to get another. Um, another. What's the word? Uh, another investment. 325. Yeah, so that would, 10 from the uh, clergy would give us 22.6, right, okay, fine. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I was going to check out decisions. So do we want to pass a Bas Blasphemy Act? Missionary strength not any use to us. Tolerance of her heretics. No, I'm going to keep an open mind for now. You never know when being friendly with a Protestant could help you. That's over here. National unrest or unrest in the provinces is fine. Okay. I just wish France would go to war with somebody. Now Denmark's got some uh, rebel problems. War with Magdeburg. Who else would you bring in? The Papal State is not a huge help to you. No Burgundy for it. And where did... Uh, no, 
was Brandenburg. Your opinion's dropping like a stone. Okay, so I don't think I want to go and help Sweden in their war. Denmark. What size is your navy? Your size is big. Nope, so I'm not sailing across to help. I've got my four cogs anyway. Uh, your army's 25. Yeah, so they're too strong. It's unfortunate England allied with them. Rivals with Muscovy and France. Oh no, France have rivaled Denmark. Would France come in? Probably not. Now we lost our other general. Never mind, we have our son. Do you know, I don't think there's any point keeping that army back there. Let's bring you home. Bring you back round to Lothian as well. We need to unmothball you, get you around here. Yeah, I was hoping at one point that England might launch a war against France and I could jump across here, grab this territory. Still don't have anything. Um, let's mark some territory in here. Just on the off chance that somebody <laughs> will help us get onto the continent. Hmm. We've got all this cash as well. I haven't been spending anything for ages. Let's see what do we want to build. Do I want to build anything in here? Uh, production efficiency. I don't want to waste money. Ship building time. Is it worth spending a hundred gold on it though? I don't think so, to be honest. Yeah, let's, well, let's get a workshop. And... Hmm. Actually, let's check out tax. Limerick and Ulster, that's right, they're the two other highest earners. And Limerick. Ormond and Kildare. I've already got churches in there. Well, less than an advisor. Okay, um, how about trade? Hmm. 
And trade's pretty weak everywhere, apart from in Lothian. Cork, you've got eleven point nine trade power, and you don't have a church either. Let's uh, increase your trade power. I'll keep the rest of our money for now. Let's see, we need an advisor in here. Front defence, land force limit. Discipline, I suppose. Yeah. Let's take you. I may as well drill the army. Let's get you all grouped up. Should have been doing that a long time ago. Uh, never mind. I suppose I was at one point. Uh, until our general died. And I'm not going to have my air waste this time drilling troops. So let's get us another general. Not the best either, but good enough. Get drilling. Take the tech now. And may as well take the others. Trade power 25 in Lubeck. Good. The Queen Consort for the people. I can lose the ducats and the admin power quite easily. Minus 2 national unrest. Don't really need that. So we'll take the legitimacy. It's much better. Income bonanza. Yep. Uh, okay. Size. Yep. Too much going on at once. Uh, and we'll go for the Carracks and Caravel as well. Okay, let's get... Yeah, let's go for the Culverin. And we can also go for... No, the... Them and uh, Cav. Right. England's got rebel problems again. Waiting all this time for Sweden to want to become independent. And it's the worst time for it to happen. Nah, lose your loyalty. It'll increase again. There we go. Uh, estates, clergy, send an emissary, please. And. Yeah, let's get us another general. Fifteen loyalty. No, let's not do that. I. Let's recruit a minister. Get your influence up and increases our national tax modifier. Uh, that's good enough. And with you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, I don't want your prestige going above 90%. 
at your influence. Sorry, um, so I'll keep my prestige. Let's stick with that. Um, so, what did I just recruit? I guess it wasn't a minus 50% person then. Okay, never mind. How soon can we get another... Oh, we can get more people influenced now. So let's do that. England's armies can move. There's a surprise. Uh, must give in Poland. I like this. Uh, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Nothing much changed there. We'll go to war with Siena. Burgundy. You've got another ally, Bremen. Utrecht. You've still got your Brandenburg and Munster alliances. Uh, Brabant. You've got England and Papal State. Uh, okay. Lots of things expired. Yeah. I'm not going to get an attack into here either anytime soon I don't think Go on, England would you claim some land don't be scared I'll help I don't need to trust up So I'll leave that as it is. How much am I making per month? 0.57. I'm just wondering if I were to add another couple of units into the army, whether England would feel a bit more like going to war. Let's get another infantry anyway. Make another couple. It's economic ideas. We don't have any inflation, or not very much. <laughs> Let's take it. It's not like we're going to use our admin power for anything else. We've got three diplomats. What to do with them though? I don't want to... I mean, everybody's a potential target, I suppose. Burgundy, where did you have claims? Oh, you've got claims everywhere. I 
The rightful provinces are held by other nations and our government seems to be making no effort to recover them. No, I'm not losing my claim. I don't care about Denmark's opinion, so that can drop. So, say if we attacked Brabant, England are their allies. Well, that's no use. Bloody England. And you do have claims all over there. Brandenburg and Munster and Hesse. England say they would come in. If I get an alliance with Burgundy just to get them to join in the war. Hmm. That might be my best option for some support on the continent, but I still need to build up my cogs to get the army across there. So that might be what I do. Maybe I start working towards getting the fleet ready. We'll attack into Utrecht, bring in Burgundy, give them a bit of land, keep some for ourselves. But it's not ideally placed. I'd rather just grab land in here so that I'm directly against France. We can start making some claims. Yeah, more thoughts needed, I think. Um, so I'm going to put a break in here and we'll pick this up again next time out. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.